So, we will continue our discussion on basic tool of economic analysis what we are discussing in the previous class also. And particularly here we are uh, uh, trying to see how the regression analysis use for uh, or as a tool for the economic analysis. So, typically we are talking about the regression techniques how it is serving as a tool for the economic analysis in the previous class also and this session also. So, what is regression technique just a quick recap what we discussed in the last class and then we will continue our discussion on the different methods to find out the value of the uh, slope intercept and also what are the different uh, uh, methods that goodness to fit and all this. But before that we quick recap what is regression technique. So, regression technique is a statistical technique used to quantify the relationship between the uh, intel, uh, interrelated economic variable. Generally, it is used in physical and social studies where problem of specifying the relationship between two or more variables is involved. And the first is to estimation the coefficient of the independent variable. In the technique, the first step is to estimate the coefficient of the independent variable and then measurement of the reliability of the estimated coefficient. So, first is to uh, estimate the coefficient of the independent variable because if you know regression is the uh, relationship between the dependent and the independent variable. So, the first step of regression technique is to uh, find out the value or the estimate the value of coefficient uh, associated with the independent variable and then to measure the reliability of this estimated coefficient. And for this generally we formulate a function we just form uh, formulate a hypothesis first and on the basis of this we formulate a function. So, formulation of hypothesis is done on the basis of the observed relationship between two or more facts or event of real life. And after this we generally translate the hypothesis into a function. So, suppose a hypothesis is sales growth is a function of advertisement expenditure. This hypothesis can be translated into the mathematical function where it leads to y is equal to a plus b x where y is sales x is the advertisement expenditure and a and b are the constant. Then after uh, translating the hypothesis into the uh, function, uh, the basis for this is to uh, find the relationship between the dependent and independent variable need to be specified and stated in the form of equation. So, here in the equation A is the intercept, it gives the quantity of sales without advertisement when x is equal to 0 and B is the coefficient of y in relation to x gives the measure to increase the sales due to certain increase in the advertisement expenditure. Now, here the tax of analysis comes and what is the tax of analysis? The tax of analysis is to find the value of the constant A and B, where A is the intercept and B is the slope because on the basis of value of A and B we will come to know what is the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. Generally two methods follow is being followed to find out the value of A and B. One is the rudimentary method and second is the mathematical method generally typically known as the regression technique. So, we will start with the rudimentary method that how this value of A and B is decided and then we, then we talk about the regression technique. So, first we will start uh, the rudimentary method and for uh, uh, suppose we take here the uh, value of a constant a and b we need to find out through rudimentary method. So, y is equal to a plus b x is the functional form or suppose we take a value y is equal to value of a is 40,000 and uh, this is 1800 x. So, here we can say a is 40,000 and b is 1800 and this is the slope, this is the intercept. So, if y is the sales and x is the advertisement expenditure, when there is no advertisement expenditure, the value of y will be equal to 40,000. So, total sales without advertisement expenditure will be 40,000 and if since value of B is 1800, we can say that if the uh, measurement unit is in the million term, uh, advertisement expenditure of 1 million will bring uh, 1800 million increase in 
cells okay because this is the slope of the uh, value of the slope is 1800 so once if the measurement unit is in million term advertisement expenditure of 1 million will be 1800 million increase in the sales now the question is that if this is the value of a and b what is the reliability of this value whether how reliable this value or what is the accuracy of this value a and b or we can say that how close this value of a and b to the regression line okay this cannot be solved through the rudimentary method because this is generally a crude method being followed or the this is very elementary in nature this uh, rudimentary method is very elementary in nature this cannot address this question that how reliable is this or how accurate is this or how close to this in the this typical regression line because it indicates the visualization of uh, function not the formulation of the actual function so if you look at it is not formulate the actual function rather they visualize that okay this is the value it has to be done so in this case this is a approximation because this is a crude method this is a approximation approximation not the actual relationship between two variables and that is why uh, rudimentary method is ruled out or rudimentary method is uh, not being followed much uh, to find out the value of a and b because they are not considering the actual function rather they are considering the approximate function. Now, uh, the second uh, method comes here to find out this value of a and b typically the value of slope and uh, intercept in order to understand the relationship between two variables. Two variables are economic variables in nature and we generally use the second method is the regression technique to understand the relationship between two economic variables. So, the second variable comes as the uh, regression methods here generally uh, four components of this regression methods what we are going to discuss first is to estimate the error term that through the ordinary least square method then we will test the significance of the estimated parameter and then we will do the test of goodness of fit, fit or to find out the coefficient of determination because that will uh, that will talk about the overall uh, overall uh, overall explanatory power of this model that how the model is or how the relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable is shown through the regression technique. So, typically this four stages being followed in case of a regression method when we estimate a and b following this method first we estimate the error term then we do this through the ordinary least square method then after getting the value of the parameter estimated parameter we test their significance that how significant what is the level, level of significance of this estimated parameters and then we do the test of goodness of fit to understand the overall explanatory power of this model or overall explanatory power of the relationship between these two variable uh, that is dependent variable and the independent variable. So, first we will see how basically this regression line is being done or how regression the simple regression analysis then we will see how the error term comes and then we will see how the level of significance can be done from the estimated parameter what we have uh, calculated using the ordinary least square method and finally we will do the goodness of fit. So, the first step is always to uh, in a regression technique the first term is always to first step is always to estimate the error term. Okay. Let us take an example that what will be since uh, this is a relationship between the advertisement expenditure and sales we will take a different value of advertisement expenditure and how it is affecting the sale. So, suppose this is 40 50 60, 70, 80, 90 or we can call it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So, we can just plot a regression line and in the regression line some points will find 
above the line and some points will find below the line. So, all the points all the actual data points each not on the regression line there may be also some deviation in the all some deviation in the regression line. So, all the advertisement expenditure do not fall in the regression line. So, since all the actual data point is not in the regression line that leads to some error term in the model. Why we call it error term? Because all there is a deviation in the regression line and the actual data point. And since there is a error term, the slope b does not explain the total change in y with respect to change in x, because there is some error term. The so slope b is what? Slope b is basically del y with respect to del x. So, we can say that since there is a difference between the uh, regression line and the actual data point that leads to the error term. And since there is error term in the model that, that, that implies that the slope b is not explaining the total change in y with response to change in the x. So, there is some unexplained part of there is some unexplained uh, part of the y and this unexplained part of the y is generally the error term. Now, we will see what is the error term. So, error term refers to the deviation from the plotted point from. So, what is the error term? Error term is the generally the deviation from the plotted point from the straight line drawn through the center of the plotted point. So, this is the center of the plotted point and that is why we call it the regression line and what is error term? Error term basically the deviation from the actual data point and this line. So, this is actual data point, this is the line. So, the deviation is the error term, this is the actual data point, this is the line, this is the deviation is the error term, this is the actual data point, this is the line, this is the deviation from the error term and similarly, this is the error term because that there is a deviation in the whenever there is a deviation in the actual data point and the uh, regression line or the line that is from the center of the data points that gives us the center of the plotted point that gives us the error term. Now, how why this error comes? This error comes because there is a inaccurate recording or the specific or inaccurate specification of the sales data. So, sometimes there is a there is inaccurate recording of the uh, this advertisement expenditure and the sales data or also to specify the sales data that is inaccurate and that leads to the error and that is why we get a deviation between the actual point and the regression line. There are two kind of errors, one is specification error, second one is the measurement error. What is specification error? Specification error, error generally comes because other factor influencing sales could not be specified and included in the function. So, specification error comes from the fact that whatever the other factor influencing the sales could not be specified and included in the function, because here specifically we are saying that how advertisement expenditure is influencing the sales, but there may be many other factor which is influencing sales that is not being considered and that could not be specified that could not be added in the function and that is why the specification error comes. And second is the measurement error. This general, generally arises due to computational error in the measuring, sampling, coding and writing the data. So, specification error when we missed out some uh, variables which influence the sales and measurement error comes typically it is more mechanical kind of thing. This arises due to uh, this technical problem that is computational error in measuring, sampling, coding or writing the data. So, we will see that how we can uh, understand this error term, uh, error term like this, uh, how this error comes and how to minimize this error using the least square method. So, we can say this y t is the observed value and y c is the estimated value. Okay. What will be our error term? error term will be 
y t minus y t minus y c and if y c is equal to a plus p x, this is to be the best fit. Okay. So, here again we will understand this, uh, we will take this graph to understand this whether what is a best fit. So, here if you look at if x is equal to 8 million in a specific year, then in this case suppose this is the uh, suppose this is the data point, this is the actual data point, here we can call it may be this is uh, this is uh, m, this is n, this is p. So, this p n is what? p n is basically the uh, p n is basically the uh, error term because this is the difference between p m is basically the error term because this is the difference between the actual data point and the actual data point and the uh, original uh, or the regression line. So, which, which one is best fit? Best fit is one where this y t will be equal to y c. So, in this case we can say that error term is equal to y t minus y c and it will be if y t is equal to y c then we will get error is equal to 0 and we will get it a best fit. So, but since we always assume that there is some amount of error because there is a uh, deviation between the regression line and the actual data point to we have some error term and this error term is y t minus y c and y c can be again called as the a plus b x and this is the functional form for the error term. Now, we need to minimize this uh, functional form to understand or this functional form to uh, know that how to minimize this, uh, this functional form error term we need to minimize this using the least square method. Now, what is a least square method? Because we will be using this method to minimize the error term that comes between the regression line and the actual data point. What is this uh, least square method? Generally, regression technique minimize the error term with a view of finding the regression equation that best fits the observed data. This method use the sum of the square of the error term that regression technique seeks to minimize and find the value of a and b that produce the best fit line. Now, how, how this OLS method they minimize this error term? They find the sum of the square of the error term that regression technique is trying to minimize. They will take the sum of the square of the error term, the deviation between the actual data point and the regression line, what through the regression technique they are trying to minimize and find the value of a and b that will fit the that will best fit the regression line or the with the observed data point or the actual data point. So, we will see now this OLS method that how this OLS method is being used to minimize the sum of the uh, error term by finding the value of a and b. So, we have Suppose, we have uh, n pair of observation, we can call it from both the variable x 1, y 1 to x n, y n. Uh, here, we basically want to fit the regression line given by the equation y is equal to a plus b x and what is the motivation to uh, fit the line? we need to find such value for a and b that will minimize the that will minimize the sum of square of error term so we need to calculate the value of uh, a and b which will minimize the sum of the square of the error term so this is e is equal to t from 1 to n that is e t square or we can call it as the e that is the error term. So, in through OLS method we are uh, trying to find the value of a and b which will minimize the sum of the square of the error term and this is the 
sum of the error term square. Now, we will see how we are going to minimize this error sum of square. So, error sum of square generally t 1 to n that is y minus a minus b x So, e is equal to t is equal to 1 by n. So, y minus a minus b x square and we need to differentiate it with respect to we need to differentiate with, with respect to a and with respect to b. So, if it is differentiated with respect to a then we get 2 sigma y minus a minus b x and in this case minus 2 sigma x y minus a minus b x. And we need to minimize this and for minimization we need to equalize this with 0. So, for minimizing this error term So, minimizing this error term, we have to set d by d a has to equal to 0 and d by d b has to be 0. So, d by d a which is minus 2 sigma y minus a minus b x is equal to 0 and d e d b is minus 2 e x y minus a minus b x is equal to 0. 0. Alternately, see minus 2 is a common factor in both these cases. We can consider this take out this uh, minus 2. So, this will be uh, sigma y minus a minus b x has to equal to 0 and x uh, y is equal to a minus b x has to be equal to 0. Now, we can uh, rewrite this uh, equation as we can uh, rewrite this equation as e y minus n a minus b e x is equal to 0 e x y minus a sigma x b sigma x square is equal to 0. So, arranging this we can call it e y is equal to n a plus b e x and e x y is equal to a sigma x plus b e y square. So, these are the normal equations and this normal equations can be uh, solved by determining the value of constant a and b. So, we need to find out the value of a on the basis of this normal equation. So, this is e x square e y minus e y e x y and by n e x square minus e x whole square and for b we can find out this n e x y minus e x e y n e x square minus e x whole square. So, once we put the numerical value here for x and y, once we uh, apply this numerical value of x and y, we get the value of a and b and also we get the regression equation. So, this is the formula to find out the a and, uh, a and b. So, in that formula we can put the value of x and y through that we can get the value of a and b and from there again we can get the regression equation which will best fit to the data. Now, so we use OLS method to find out the uh, OLS method to find out the value of a and b which will best fit to the regression line and also which will minimize the error term what comes from the 
difference between the deviation between the original regression line and the actual data point or the observed data point. Now, what is the problem with this regression techniques? This technique shows only the probable tendency, not the exact tendency and that is how you cannot say that whatever the, it, it cannot be exact the value after getting the value of A and B, also it may not possible to get the best fit line. And this uh, technique does not consider the effect of predictable and unpredictable event which might affect the on which might affect the predictable event. So, neither it consider the effect of predictable nor unpredictable event, but which might affect the result or which might affect the value of A and B and that is why this method is there is a problem with this method. Now, how to overcome this? We can find out how reliable is the estimated value of coefficient, how well estimated regression line fits to the observed data. And that we can find out through the test of statistical significance, we can find out the estimated value of coefficient and how estimated, how well estimated regression line will fit to the observed data. How we will do this, uh, how we will do this test of significance? Generally, this is the test of significance of the estimated parameter. So, how we generally do it? We take it a null hypothesis and we try to see that whatever the null hypothesis, what is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis. We find a level of significance and we say that okay, if the level of, if we set up a limit and set up a uh, percentage that if the level of significance of this, then the null hypothesis has to accept. If the level of significance of this, then the null hypothesis has to reject. So, for generally hypothesis testing also with this the level of significance. Then this level of significance is determined by the standard ratio and the t statistic. So, next we will find out the uh, formula to find out how to what is the standard error or what is the how to find out the standard error and how to find out the t ratio because that will through the standard area, standard error and t ratio we can find out what is the level of significance or what is how uh, uh, reliable is the estimated coefficient or how the estimate is, estimated coefficient will fit the regression line into the observed data. So, we will find out the standard error. So, standard error is uh, it is nothing but the standard deviation of estimated value from from the sample value so standard error of coefficient b can be this is the formula to find out the standard error for coefficient b that is sigma yt minus yt square by n minus k e x t minus x bar square or rewriting this uh, e t this is the error term square n minus k e x t minus x bar square. So, here x t and y t this is the actual sample value for x and y for the time period t, y e t is the estimated value, x bar is the mean value of x, n is the number of observation. and k is the number of estimated coefficient. So, this n minus k is generally known as the degree of freedom. So, this is how we uh, calculate the standard error, this is the formula to calculate standard error. And once standard error is calculated, then we can find out the uh, t ratio and t ratio on the basis of the value of b and uh, standard error of the b. 
So, this T ratio with the value of T and S B, we can find out the level of significance and the level through the level of value of the level of significance, we can find out whether to uh, reject null hypothesis or accept and on that basis, we can find out that how reliable is the estimated coefficient and how the estimated coefficient will fit into the fits into the regression line best fit regression line. So, this is this level of significance or this test is only to uh, find out how reliable is the estimated coefficient. But apart from this also, there is a test of goodness of fit uh, or we call it the coefficient of determination. It is to test the overall explanatory power of the estimated regression equation. So, it is or the estimated regression model or the estimation regression equation. So, through this coefficient of determination or the test of goodness of fit, generally this test is uh, conducted to test the overall explanatory power of the regression equation, because that gives the clarity, that gives the accuracy that whether the regression equation is fitting into the best fit regression line or not. So, to test this uh, uh, to test this goodness of fit or to find out the coefficient of determination, we will see what is the formula to do that. So, this coefficient of determination is all otherwise known as r square and r square is find through explained variation of explained variation in y and total variation in y. So, what is the explained variation in y? That is t is equal to 1 to n that is y t estimated mean value. This is the explained and what is the total? total variation is e t is equal to 1 n, then y t and y bar square. So, this is the explained variation in y, this is the total variation in y. Through this, we will find out the coefficient of determination or the r square. See, so through this r square is, since this is explained and total. So, the explained variation in y is y t by y bar square and total variation is y t minus y bar square. So, this total variation it has two part, one is explained, another is unexplained. So, from here unexplained part is e t is equal to 1 to n. So, y t is y t e square and total variation is that is unexplained y t e minus y bar this is explained plus unexplained that is y t minus y t e square. So, now, this is the total variation, this how we got that is through the explained and the unexplained part of the variation in y. So, r square is equal to y t minus y bar square, this is the explained variation and y t minus y bar, this is the total variation. So, this value of r square, once we get the value of r square, this talks about what is the total variation in dependent variable, total variation in dependent variable 
x plan through independent variable. So, suppose the value of r square comes as r square is equal to uh, suppose 0 0.91. It means, 91 percent of the total variation in the dependent variable is explained by the explanatory explained by the independent variable and this is also we can say highly explanatory power and the regression line is good fit because of the value of r square is 91 percent. Next we will find out uh, one more uh, uh, one more relationship between the two that is from the r square and the square root of r square gives uh, gives us r and r is nothing but the coefficient of correlation coefficient and what is the role of this correlation coefficient in uh, regression equation? This measures the degree of association between dependent and the independent variable. So, this correlation coefficient generally measures the degree of association between uh, dependent and independent variable and how we get this r? This is from the square root of r square. So, this suppose we get a value of this is 0 0.88. So, how we can uh, how we can uh, explain this 0 0.88 or how, how what is the implication of this 0 0.88? There is a strong association between dependent and the independent variable because the value of r is 0 0.88. Suppose the value of r is 0 0.22. So, out of 1 if it is the value of association is just 0 0.22, we can say that these two variables are not strongly associated or these two variables are not uh, may be uh, associated with each other means the when the if a change in one variable it is not going to affect the it is not going to change the other variable. So, if you summarize whatever we discussed today about the use of regression technique or use of rudimentary method to understand this or to find out the relationship between the economic variable, generally regression analysis is widely used in business and economic analysis. But uh, when it comes to that what is the what is the contribution in term of regression technique, they only the uh, provides the method of measuring the regression coefficient how both of them they are related that is through correlation coefficient and maybe what is the magnitude, what is the change in the dependent and independent variable that is through the regression coefficient. So, this regression analysis is provide, providing only a method to uh, measure the regression coefficient and also to test the reliability or goodness of fit, but it is not providing the theoretical base of the relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable. So, the null hypothesis is always there that there is a dependent variable and the independent variable they are related how they are related and how independent variable and dependent variable they are related. So, regression technique is not, not contributing to that that how this theoretical relationship is being built up or how, what is the basis of this kind of relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable they are not contributing to the theoretical structure of this. Uh, relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable, only they are providing the methods which empirically talks about the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. And it also talks that when we estimate the coefficient of the independent variable, how reliable it is and also that how it whether it fits to a good reg regression line or best fit regression line or not. So, with this we conclude the discussion on the uh, regression analysis and uh, then we will start the next module that is on the theory of demand.